into our basic stands. Let's move this beautiful drum over here. So if you remember in the last class, swing your feet about hip width apart, bend through your knees, tuck your hips in neutral, lift through your rib cage, shoulders come all the way up around and down, chin into alignment, crown of the head to the sky, tailbone to the ground, deep breath here, expand the belly with the breath, lift the rib cage, really fuel all of the muscles, fill yourself up with that nourishing oxygen. So in the last class, we enjoyed lots of basic movements. We enjoyed an introduction to the element of traveling in belly dance. And if you recall, there were three main types of movement. Can you remember what those were? If you can remember during the next little water break, you can pop them in the comments. Let me know if you remember what the three main movement types are that we could categorize in belly dance. Bring your hands out towards the side. We're going to rotate the palms down gently towards the ground. Bring a softness through your elbow and bring the elbows towards the back wall, the back of the room. And with that, still maintaining that open chest feel. From here, one just to lower your elbows to the ground, but keep that soft. Keep the angles nice and curved. We're gonna bring the elbows up towards the sky, forearms fall, keep the shoulders low, keep the shoulder blades together and slid down your back. allow that energy to flow all the way through and if you remember the last class we spoke about how the movements really radiate out from your belly and they travel all the way through your whole body through each of your limbs to the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes we're going to bring the hands all the way upwards this time you're going to let your Wrists gently touch, fingertips touch, and bring them all the way down. Really flex through your wrist and to your fingers here as you come all the way down. We're gonna frame the hips here with this nice soft shape. From here, we're gonna be strong in our core muscles of waist, belly, and back. And we're gonna enjoy just stepping forwards to point through one foot and bring that back into center. Try that on the other side. And try keep your weight centered. So we're out one side, return. Through one side, return. Through one side, turn. Elevating hands on a lateral raise now. Elbows to the back wall. Beautiful, so graceful. And here, let's take a moment just to bring our poise all the more open. So just elevate ever so slightly more through your rib cage. Bring the shoulders further back and lift your chin. Bring your gaze slightly skywards. Instantly, this has an elegance beyond what it had a moment ago. Keep the shoulders low. And here we can begin to look at one of those traveling techniques. So what we're gonna do is in your space, just give yourself a little run up into this. So, and you can do this with a big space or a small space. Adapt the movement to suit for you. So first of all, we're gonna go with one style of movement. We're gonna keep the feet quite close to the floor. We're gonna glide across the floor. You can actually slide your foot across the floor. You want this to be nice and smooth. Beautiful, bring it back smooth. Bring the hands down, frame the hips. This time we can add in a slide of the hip and you can emphasize that with those fluid arms. Wow, beautiful. Lift the gaze. A 
That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so what we can do from here, so this is traveling the movement forwards and back. I'm keeping it nice and strong through the core muscles. Excuse me one second. I have in fact just found my earring, which I lost. <laughs> All right, and so that's a forward and back traveling element. We can do one of these. Um, let's just stay with that movement type that we had, that smooth gliding one. It almost looks as though you're floating. Um, let's try using that same traveling technique, but let's travel it on a different plane. Are you excited? <laughs> so let's travel it out to the sides, this side, and then this side, let's see how we go with that. So let's just keep it really, really basic for now. I'll get you just to travel all the way across towards one side and then we'll begin to bring it across. So you can bring your hands on that gorgeous lateral raise for now. Here what you're gonna do is make sure you have a bend to your knees, your hips are in neutral. Yes, lovely. Then you're gonna step outwards. And then you're gonna shift your weight gradually over, it comes through both feet, and then it comes over to one side. Here, there's no weight on this side now. It's all on this supporting leg, and you're gonna bring this foot in to meet the other one. Let's try that a little bit faster. So you're gonna slide, shift your weight gradually across, and then close it in. So what you don't have is this situation where you You can literally see and feel all the gear changes. We want to keep it nice and smooth. Let's try that again. Here we go. Step together. Step together. Good. Step together. Step together. Let's try the other direction now. That away. Step together. Step together. Step together step together let's try that a little bit faster now shall we let's just give it a go ready so it's going to be like one two three and one two three four one two three four one two three other way you can place one hand on the back of your head one two three travel one two three four one two three and you might feel your hips creep into the slide so we had the slide of the hip before as we traveled forwards and back this time we have the hip slide as we travel to the side someone joining us in the group slide two three four it's our darling isla joining back in the group one to let me admit her in, carry on with that movement. So we can take it on diagonal, bring it back. Other corner, all the way around. Three, four, four, three, two. Try forwards on diagonal. Two, three, four, four, three, two. Other side, one, two, three, four, four, three, two. Well done. Let's try backwards. Whee. Bring it forward. You can do that on the spot if you run out of space. Take it out to the right. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Left, one, two, three, four, four, three, two. Bring it back. Wow, bring it forwards. Here I'm gonna tell you this fascinating story. Last night, I dreamt that I delivered a class at our friend Isla's house. <laughs> and it was amazing. It was like this dream team. Wow, we were on fire. <laughs> But um, we couldn't quite find the best lighting so that you could see us. 
and then suddenly we did and it was phenomenal as I'm sure you could imagine it would be <laughs> here we go try one two three four so you want to keep that gear change nice and smooth hey maybe that could be a thing <laughs> we could go on tour <laughs> Wow, well done. Let's take that into a circle now. Bring it back out to the side. Bring it forward. To the side. Bring it back. To the side. Bring it forward. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, reverse. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Woo! Help yourself to some hydration and ooh, if you can remember what those three kinds of traveling step are, you could pop that in the comments right now. Let's move on, coming back in a second. <laughs> Gail said the pandemic made it acceptable to wing it. Totally. <laughs> All right. Okay, improvisation is always my favorite. You guys know that. Um, all right, so that was with nice and smooth and traveling out to the sides, not just forwards and back. Let's try a sideways travel with another kind of traveling step. That one that's really, really earthy. It's particularly associated with Egyptian style belly dance. Um, particularly folkloric or traditional styles of that dance. So this one here lets you utilize a hip drop, okay? So you've got a drop, 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 nice, drop, two, three, four, four, three, two. Let's this time step as we drop. And this one here is earthy, it's bold, it's grounding, and it's absolutely brilliant to add in that gear change. So you can really see the way that your weight shifts this time. See it and feel it. So popular in American tribal style would be to add an element of a con traction through the muscles of glutes as you step um, so what you would do would be to lower the hip and on the opposing glute you would contract through there and it gives this full stop punctuation and makes the movement sharper so let me just offer you that there if you want to try that purists of course though would say we don't have that we have this free flowing movement of glutes but we have the earthy downwards motion of the hips. So I'll let you decide whichever you want to do yourself. I'll stay with that pure, basic Egyptian earthiness you'll see in the folkloric styling. Wow, yes. So we can drop, 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 drop. Bring it back. Bring it forwards a bit faster. Feel the difference. Feels really, really different. Um, let's take it out to the side now. Let's take it to the right first of all. So if you travel all the way to the left, um, you think about the rule of the thirds that we mentioned in our intermediate class in belly dance. So we're going to travel over here. This time what I want you to do is step and drop the hip. Yes? And then as you step to close the gap, you're going to drop on the hip again, this time on the other side. So as you step on that side, you drop on that side. As you step on that side, you drop on that side. So you're going to step and drop at the same time. Step and drop, step and drop, step and drop, step and drop. Well done, step and drop step and drop. Let's try the other side. So you can bring your hands to the back of your head there on one side. And then we've got that lovely 
arm positioning, bring the elbow back slightly, not totally because you're gonna move into um, something known as American tribal style um, or global caravan as another style is now being referred to as. So we're gonna step on this side, close the gap with a step. Make sure you've got a nice big bend through your knees. If you feel that's diminishing, sit right back down. Keep the hips in neutral so we're not crushing through the muscles of low back. We're using pelvic floor to keep the hips in neutral, engaged. Here we go, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna walk my way right off the edge. <laughs> Here we go, one. Two, three, four. Flat Earth or theory? <laughs> Is it possible to belly dance your way off the edge? Oh, I can't quite prove that theory tonight. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. One, two, three, four, four, three. Two, here we go a bit faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Take it back. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Bring it forward, step. Here comes this wobble in the middle. Relax through your hips. So what is this that's coming into movement now? What's coming into play here is this gentle rocking shimmy, a wobble in the middle. It feels delicious. It feels really freeing, liberating, very womanly. Another movement of the goddess. So let's have a little look at this because once I show you this, you're gonna have so much fun with this combination in basics and beyond. <laughs> this is one of my all-time favorite combos, bringing it up into what's known as an Egyptian walk. Um, so, or it has many different names um, around the internet, but for us here, this is what we tend to refer to it as in the UK. You're gonna bend through your knees, tuck your hips in neutral, so we're gonna work in a triplet. So we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. So you're gonna drop, drop, drop. And then there's a pause and then you take it to the other side and you've got drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop, drop. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Soften out the edges. Make that movement smaller, but freer at the same time. When I say smaller, hmm, faster. Um, difficult to describe. It's more about the feeling than it is about hitting specific accent points. It becomes about allowing the hips to just release and express. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Make sure you've got that big bend through knees. One, two, three, one, two, three. And if you practice that combination there, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right, left, right. And left, right, left on the other side. And then what you do is you're gonna have fun with that with so many different ways, but one of the ways you can really have fun with that is within this traveling movement that I mentioned. So you've got that initial drop of the hip that we did, but inside of there comes this wobble motion. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm absolutely loving in our live Zoom class here, all of the concentration faces. Lots of just getting stuck right in, but equally enjoying the sort of, huh? <laughs> you expect me to do what now? <laughs> well done. <laughs> Wherever you're at, just know, if you're here in this moment or you're watching this on the replay, 
If you're observing and you're thinking about doing this movement, your body is already beginning to learn it. And literally, whether you're watching somebody creating this movement and thinking about doing it in your own body, or you're actually giving it a go, your body doesn't know, your brain doesn't know the difference. It's amazing. Well, your body knows the difference because you feel it in your muscles. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. Oh, wow. I'm going to leave you to have a play with that. Have fun. We're going to pick this up now. Oh my gosh, that was spectacular. Wow. Oh, help yourself to some hydration. And then, so as you know, I really enjoy bringing in musicality really into the, the sort of beginnings of things. And so why not bring some of that into basics right now? Um, challenged you a fair bit tonight. I'm aware of that for uh, this belly basics class, but getting stuck in there, it helps you to grow. Always stay on your growth edge wherever possible in life. Everything in nature, it's either growing or it's dying. So let's stay on our growth edge, yeah? Okay, so we're here. We got Saidi. Ho ho, Saidi. Saidi. I'm going to talk to you about Saidi a lot, a lot, a lot. As a rhythm, as a dance style, as a region. But for now, let's just have a little bit of fun with that basic raw rhythm. You can clap it out with me here. So what we've got is palm of your hand, palm of your hand, clap. That's doom. Tack, you're going to reverse your hand. You're going to have palm of your hand and the back of your hand. That's tack. Yeah? So you've got doom, tack. Then you're going to do a doom, blah, double doom, can't speak. Double doom. Doom, doom. And then you're going to reverse it again. Tack. So let's go. Doom, tack. Doom, doom, tack. Doom, tack. Doom, doom, tack. Let's try it all together. Here we go. Ready? And doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack. Let me bring it up here so that you can see what I'm doing close up. One second, while I find that. Here we go. Ready? So we've got doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack. Boom, boom, tack. Nice. Well done. So I'm going to bring this focus back over here. Whoop. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And so from here, let me see if I can do a little bit of DJing. Help yourself to some hydration because you're going to this time need your brain in gear. <laughs> so. I'm literally just going to give you Darbuka. Doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack, doom tack, doom doom tack. Woo! Try it now. Now I know that most people are one side dominant or the other side dominant. We're going to switch it up now, totally on our growth edge. Try clap it out in your other hand. Are you ready? Here we go. Doom tack, doom doom tack. Doom tack, doom doom tack. Doom tack, doom doom tack. Doom tack, doom doom. Yes, doom tack, doom doom tack. Woo! <laughs> well done. You did that. So let's now, with that raw rhythm, have a little think about that the raw rhythm could be illustrated with doom and tack of the hips. So you've got doom is a drop, tack is lift, 
Dum is drop, tack is lift. Let's try the other side. So this is a single leg drop, but then on the lift, you're gonna lift your hip up using the muscles of external obliques and at the waist. The knee just happens to come with it with a slight extension through there. Try this side, drop is dum, lift is tack. Dum, tack, dum, tack. Nice, let me see if I can slow this down slightly. We can use it as is, but if I can slow it down ever so slightly. anybody who's interested in geeking out fully like I like to do. <laughs> okay, also beneficial if you want to practice this yourself to know. Um, you can, what you can do is you can go online and download onto your phone an app, a metronome app will do. Um, you don't necessarily need something that's going to play this rhythm. A metronome app will do. You could Fix it around about 80 beats per minute. You got the same uh, tempo we're working with right now. So let's try that on the right side first of all. So we got doom tack, doom tack. Nice, doom tack, doom tack. Let's try the left side. Doom tack. Wow, doom tack. Doom tack, doom tack, beautiful. Let's try the double doom in the center. Okay, so we got doom tack, doom doom. So here we're gonna drop the hip halfway and then a full drop. Try it, doom tack, doom doom. This time ready, doom tack, doom doom. Try the other side. Here we go. We got doom tack, doom doom. Nice. Lift your hip up and doom tack, doom doom. Nice. Let's try pop those two sections that we did together. So you're going to have doom tack, doom doom. Yeah? Here we go. Doom tack, doom doom. Wow, let's try that again this side. Lift your hip up. Doom tack, doom doom. Nice. This is doom tack, doom doom, Saidi. And again, doom tack, doom doom, it's Saidi. Other side, ready. Doom tack, doom doom, it's Saidi. Woo! Doom tack. Doom doom. What is it? Saidi. <laughs> doom tack. Doom doom. Now what I want you to try just to finish up. Now I'm asking a lot of you tonight. I understand. But what I'm doing is setting you up for lots of personal growth in your dance. And my goodness, you're going to be really good at things like this later on. <laughs> Um, but lots to really sink your teeth into and if, you, if you're like really enjoying your belly dance journey at the moment after we get some of these combos down wow you're in a whole new level of fun and uh, moorishness this is like more moorish than popcorn I think <laughs> all right so what we need to try, just try. I don't have, I've not even tried this one myself yet, but let's try a combo where we do what we did a second. Doom tack, doom doom. Doom tack, doom doom, tack. Yeah, yeah. Let's bring tack in at the end. So you're gonna rotate round, it's the back of your hand into your palm. So we're gonna finish it with that. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go doom tack, doom doom, tack. Nice, ready? Try again, lift. Doom tack, doom doom, tack. 
beautiful. And then bring your hands back to frame, ready? Doom, tack, doom, doom, tack. Lift your hip up, bring your hands out. Here we go. Doom, tack, doom, doom, tack. Lift your hip, bring your hands. Here we go. Doom, tack, doom, doom, tack. This time, other side, ready? Doom, tack, doom, doom, tack. Lift your hips, bring your hands into frame, ready? Doom, tack, doom, doom, tack. Woo! Another couple times this side. Doom, tack, doom, doom, tack. Lift your hip, frame. Last time here, doom, tack, doom, doom, tack. Oh, I forgot the tack. <laughs> wow! Coming into center, enjoy a shimmy through there. Bringing it all together. Travel it forwards this time. Woo! Beautiful. Bring it back again. And then what we have is that really strong, earthy one. You could do that with or without the wobble. And bring it back. Two, three, four. You have the makings of your own dance. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy having a little practice of that in between times if you want to. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, feel free to rewind, try again. Go for it, really go for it. All right, coming into center. Let's bring one foot out in front, bring it all the way around, lifting up, bring the knees into alignment, tuck the hips under, push them forwards, bring that foot closer in. You can steady yourself with your arms. You can lean against the wall. Take a deep breath here. Ah, as you breathe out, returning down onto the other side. Bring the foot out, bring it round. Lifting up, grip on. Knees into alignment. Push the hips forwards. Really, really important to then release through the front of the hip, particularly down through your thighs and also a muscle known as the psoas that you might have heard me talking about before in other classes. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe that, let's return that down. I'm gonna bring the hands up towards the sky, lengthen through your spine and release that back down. <sighs> Lift up towards the sky and release back down. One last time, deep breath in and release. <sighs> Returning into center. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Woohoo! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit notifications so you can be informed of when the next video goes up. If you'd like to support the creation of these videos, remember you can head along to patreon.com forward slash Little Egypt Studio where you'll find a community of other enjoyers of these videos. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.